Well, he says I told you so quite a bit. I don't know about the jumping up and down. Action begins on Phil Helmuth. He folds. Queen Trey suited for the cannon. He's out of here. He's just an interesting kid. Antonio, man. pocket pair, yeah, raised to 1,200. He drives to town every Tony G day. folds. Ike, big slick. Aren't you fine? About 90, sir. About 90. Pot is 46. 4,600 straight, raised to 4,600 straight. And Ike re-raises to 4,600. Mercier folds. Even if Antonio thinks he's behind, he's got the right implied odds to try to flop a set of deuces. Antonio calls. Sometimes a baby set can get you your opponent's entire stack. The flop, 847. Antonio flops good so far. See if Ike continues. He does. Betting 6,800. 6, I'm not sure one C bet from Ike is going to be enough to get rid of Antonio. Let's see if Antonio puts Ike on an over pair or just two big cards like he has. Antonio raises to 21-1. This is a pretty interesting raise. Antonio's hand is only one better than Ike's, so this raise is only getting action if it's beat. Also, this is a tough board to try to bluff out a hand that's better. There's really nothing too scary about it. It is possible that Antonio's just picked up on something on Ike, not liking the flop. All in. Ike re-raises all in. This is a huge bluff from Ike. It would be a pretty ridiculous call if Antonio can make it. Nope. He folds. Ike Haxton goes all aggro cadabra on the magician. Antonio had the right idea, but Ike went OTT and forced the magic man to release his hand. More action from the big game after this.